In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can recreate this. But before we get on with that, I just wanna thank every single one of you because we hit 2,000 subscribers. I'm so thankful. I did not think we was gonna hit that this fast. But this is only the beginning. Like the stuff I have planned for this channel, I just can't wait, I can't wait. Now let's get on with the tutorial. All right, so now we're in After Effects. And the first thing that we're gonna do is Control S. Make sure you save your project because that is super important. All right, now the first thing that we're gonna do is create a null layer. So we're gonna right click new and then null object. And then I'm gonna duplicate it and then I'm gonna rename this one left eye and then the top one right eye. And so now with our footage selected, we're gonna go over to track motion and make sure you're in full resolution so there's a more accurate track. And since my eyes are closed from the start, there's not really anywhere we can really place the tracking marker. So I'm actually gonna start from the last frame of the footage and then work backwards. So now with our track point, I'm just gonna go over and put my tracking point right here. Also something to keep in mind, the bigger your tracker box is, the longer it is gonna take the track. So you wanna make sure that your tracking box is as small as possible, but also big enough where there's enough tracking data to track. How many times did I say track? So since we're tracking the left eye first, well, technically this is my right eye, but I'm not trying to confuse myself. So in this case, this is the left eye. So you wanna go right here to edit target and then select the left eye no later. And so now since we're working backwards, we wanna use one of these keys. So I'm gonna select this one and then you just wanna let it track. So right about now is when my eyes are gonna to start to close. So now we're gonna go frame by frame so the tracking doesn't mess up. See, as you can tell, it moved a little right there. So all we need to do is just move it back to its original spot. And then boom, that's the first eye done. So now that the left eye is done tracking, we're gonna go over here and hit apply and then okay. And then we're gonna do the same exact process, but on the other eye. So I'm gonna go back to the last frame, track motion. You wanna make sure the current track is tracker two, and then you wanna edit the target to the right eye. And now it's just gonna be the same exact process. All right, so now you can see we have our tracking data. If you hit U on your keyboard, you can see the keyframes and now it's tracked. So now the next step is I'm gonna create a solid layer. So I'm gonna right click new and then solid and then make sure it's a black solid layer and I'm gonna name this left mask. And then I'm gonna duplicate it and then name the top one right mask. And now I'm gonna parent the left mask to the left null and then the right mask to the right. And then I'm just gonna hide these layers. And then I'm gonna start the last frame again just cause it'll make the process a lot easier. And with our left mask layer selected, I'm gonna go ahead and hit G on the keyboard to bring out our pen tool. And then I'm just gonna mask around my eye. So the next step that I'm gonna do is, as you can tell, when I close my eyes, that obviously is not good. So I'm gonna hit M and then select the keyframe on the mask path. And then I'm just gonna slightly adjust it so it sticks to the eye. So as you can see, when I open my eyes, it matches. <laughs> And then we're just gonna do the same exact thing on the other eye. All right, now we got the most boring parts done. Now if we unhide the layer, I mean, you don't really notice a difference, which I guess is kind of good. Now this is where you let your creativity take over. All right, now I'm gonna add a picture of an eye. So if you're someone like me who has like very dark eyes and like really no color in them at all, then you'll probably have to use this step. But if you have just natural like colored eyes, then this process would be a whole lot easier. If you are someone like me, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this image and I'll leave uh, a link to this image in the description below. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and hit toggle switches. And then I'm gonna go over here where it says no mat and then make it left mask. And then now what you can do is just adjust the size and positioning. And then make sure you parent this to the correct eye. So I'm gonna parent this to the left null. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the right eye. I'm gonna duplicate this. Make sure you switch the mat to the right mask and then switch this to the right null object. And then you can just position this over here. 
all right now you should have something like this this looks pretty good but it could always look better so now what we're gonna do is i'm gonna select my left mask again and then i'm gonna hit m twice to open up all our masking options so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna feather this slightly so i'll put this at like four and then i'm gonna set the mask expansion to negative two actually negative three actually negative two <laughs> depending on your shot the masking options might be different so kind of just adjust it to what looks better and as you can see we have like more of a darker shadow around the eye and it just adds a little bit more realism and then i'm just going to do the same thing on the other mask now we have something like this and then i'm just going to slightly adjust the positioning again all right now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start adding effects to the eye and actually make it glow so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna duplicate these null objects. And then I'm gonna select everything else except for the footage and then Control Shift C. And then I'm just gonna name this Eyes. Make sure move all attributes is selected and adjust composition to duration. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch the blending mode over to Add. So now, as you can see, not only do we have the reflections on the original image of the eye, as you can tell, now we're getting the natural reflections from the actual footage. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a hue and saturation effect. And I just want to make it look a little bit more bluish. So I'm going to go and turn the saturation up. And now normally the next thing I would add is a deep glow effect. But since the purpose of this tutorial is to not use any external plugins, but we're going to use After Effects Glow Effects. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the glow radius. I'm going to set the composite to none. And then I'm going to slightly increase the intensity. And then I'm going to duplicate this effect, decrease the intensity, increase the threshold. I'm going to increase the radius. And then I'm going to set the glow operation to screen. Now the next thing we're going to add is a curves effect. Now I'm going to decrease this point right here. And then I'm going to go back to my hue and saturation effect and then just decrease the saturation slightly. And really from this point, it's just tweaking the settings and just getting the best look possible. I'm also going to add an exposure effect just so I can increase the highlights and sell that glow effect a little bit more. All right, now once you get something that you're happy with, the next step that we're going to do is add an adjustment layer. So I'm going to right click again, new and adjustment layer, and then I'm going to duplicate it. And then I'm going to parent one of the layers to the left eye and then the other one to the right eye. And then I'm going to rename the adjustment layer to left glow and then right and then i'm going to add a curves effect to one of them then i'm going to set the blending mode to a screen and then i'm going to create a mask like around the eye and then i'm going to feather this quite a bit and then i'm going to increase the curves slightly then i'm going to turn the opacity down a little bit and as you can see, there's like a slight glow like around the eye. It's just one of those small differences. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other eye. I'm just going to copy and paste the curves effect. Set the blending mode to screen, feather it. And then I'm going to set a keyframe to when I open my eyes on both adjustment layers. And then at the beginning, I'm going to set it to zero just so that the glow happens when I open my eyes. All right, now the next thing I'm going to add is the steam asset that I got from productioncrate.com. And then I'm just going to adjust this so it's like right on the eye. And then I'm just going to parent this to the left eye and then duplicate this and then parent it to the right eye switch this over and then to add more randomness on the duplicated steam layer i'm just going to go ahead and drag this just so the steam is not moving up the same exact way and then i'm just going to duplicate this one just so you can see it more and then i'm going to set all these to screen and then same thing i'm going to set an opacity transition and then i'm going to highlight all these and click f9 and as you can see 
There's like steam coming from the ice to make it look like really hot, I guess. I don't know. This is VFX. You can do whatever you want. That's pretty much it for this shot. Now you can just add a bunch of like color grading, just add whatever you want to make it unique. And yeah, that pretty much wraps up this tutorial.